I thought it was a fantastic event, very productive conversation. I loved hearing from the community about their concerns and about potential ideas. Housing is the most important topic that exists in our county. We're having a housing crisis and housing to me and to many people is a, is a human right. You have to think about it along the same lines as oxygen or water. This is something that people need. So anytime we talk about other things like, you know, mental health, drug addiction, education, crime, the conversation has to start with housing because if people don't have stable and healthy housing, all those other issues that we're talking about are much worse. Well, my name is Patience Malaba and I am the policy manager at the Housing Development Consortium of Seattle King County. Over the last Four years, we have worked in partnership with the Somali Youth Family Club and the Coalition for the Refugees of Femur towards systems change policy level um, processes. And throughout the time, we've advocated specifically for healthy housing policy change. And this forum was about going deep into reviewing what we have been successful doing in passing policies, but also talking about the current regional housing crisis. So today we talked about getting progressive tax revenues to build the housing that we need. McKinsey came out with a report saying that we need between 500 million and $1 billion every year to address the housing crisis. There's a bill in Olympia right now that I'm so thankful for the state representatives for fighting for to give King County the authority to tax big businesses and get some uh, progressive tax revenues. It's not enough, but it'll be a, a good start for building the housing that we need. We also talked about anti-displacement measures. We want more investment in these communities, right? We want safety, we want more housing, we want more facilities, we want the small businesses in the area to thrive. At the same time, we want the communities that already live there to benefit from these improvements. What's, what, are the, what do improvements mean if the people who've been there for so long don't get to appreciate and benefit from them? So we need anti-displacement measures to make sure that people can stay in their homes. We need inclusionary zoning policies. We need right of first return policies. We need uh, developer restrictions and requirements that hold them accountable to the communities that already exist. Where, as you know, we need an additional 150,000 homes just to make sure that people are not paying more than 30% of their income. And what was great about this conversation was we were able to get to more policy solutions and opportunities for us to move forward, like increasing more housing in our region by increasing our density and adopting mandatory inclusionary zoning policies that really expand on what we have already worked on passing like rental housing inspection programs. We also talked about progressive revenue. We know that the McKenzie report tells us that we need to raise $450 million up to 1.1 billion per year over the next 10 years. It was encouraging to see elected officials talk about their commitment to that cause and we encourage people to continue to call their legislators in support of House Bill 2948. So thank you so much. We were really excited uh, to be at this forum in partnership with SYFC and CRB.